The girls that get it, get it. The girls who don't, don't. She fill my mind up with ideas. I'm not as in the room. Thank you for clicking this video. Welcome to my space. I'm going to be telling you how to plan your content creation. So for instance, you're going out for a shoot, how to ensure you have a successful and efficient shoot. Also, I'm going to be sharing with you the winter looks for that girl. Are you that eat girl? And do you want to know the fierce winter looks you can rock over and over again, year in, year out? If that's you, sit back, relax, and enjoy. My name is Stephanie, and you're welcome to the Metro Gypsy platform. I'm going to put a timestamp to this video just so that you can skip straight to the winter eat girl looks if that's all you want to see. Let's start with planning a shoot. Planning to shoot, um, obviously, most of the time is outdoor because to be honest outdoor content is just amazing and then you're doing winter looks as with this video you're going to be wearing jackets you're going to be wearing gloves you're going to be wearing hats it just gives more of a vibe when you shoot outside so yes we're shooting outside the first thing you're going to think about is what is the theme of this shoot obviously with this one we already know is the, the winter lookbook it's the style for it girls is the style for that girl which i think you are decide your theme because that would help you decide the next like two or three points the theme of this my shoot is the winter lookbook for the it girl winter lookbook for that girl winter lookbook that has a piece of color in it and then vibe as well the next thing is guess what your location your location is so imperative like seriously and it obviously matches with the thing because you can't not know what you're shooting and then decide the location so we've said okay we're shooting winter we're definitely definitely sure this thing is going to be outdoors it's not um, any studio or your house no we're going out wherever you live you know where do you think we'll show a winter lookbook well for this one i'm thinking um just somewhere it'd be busy somewhere with vibes though there won't be people all around me and everything but just you know those great tones neutral tones will just be around me because I'm, i intend adding a lot of color to these i'm going to have layers i'm going to have textures with the outfits so i would want somewhere you know, like city vibe but at the same time neutral like beige and backdrops just so that i can create everything i want to create how to styles whatever then the next thing which i think is the most fun thing is planning your looks so how many looks do you want to achieve while you're planning your looks you're also kind of trying to plan what you want to do with those looks are you just going to do pictures are you going to do a youtube video are you going to do reels for instagram you know what exactly are you going to show so write all these things down how many looks do you want to get from this whole shoot how long you have would obviously you know make you decide that as well for this shoot we're going to be having seven looks those seven looks anyway while i show you understand well it might even transcend from seven to about ten so my seven looks i'm going to share with you all the looks i have created and then how i even make sure i do not forget these looks what i try to do is to get all my items if i have them in the house i take a picture of these or just go on pinterest and get an a picture of what the item is and then make a peak stitch of each look guys this might look dramatic but when you're out there shooting you literally sometimes forget everything you had told yourself in the house so having that pictorial representation of what you're going to be shooting is highly important this is my first outfit there's a white pair of sunglasses there's a new dress there's a bag and there's a white boot all these items are already here with me and i'm going to show you this is my white pair of sunglasses my knit bag it's a coral piece from zara i'll link it my white knit dress this dress i love it because it's cut out at the side and it's neat so yeah i really can't wait to wear it this is a jacket i intend to wear this one with i'm not gonna okay let's just open it so this is what the jacket looks like it's like beigey and white so i want to get like a full white look with white boots love 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 them so much this picture would go with me and then once i, I like okay yeah white new dress what's going with it i already have everything in my head and they were wearing it so the next picture i'm going to show you now is a greenish kind of look so this is my favorite shade of green i have a sleeveless dress in emerald green i have a pair of boots in emerald green i have my handbag in emerald green and then i have a jacket that's just a different color entirely which is black and white this is the 
green dress it was a mazara haul if you remember these are my pair of green boots these boots are steve madian i got them from asos it will be linked below but this is my handbag i've not really you know photographed in this bag for so many pictures i'm really excited for these shoots because i'm going to be styling this handbag for like the first time i think so yeah this handbag is coming with the outfit so that we're not just all green 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 obviously i'm going to take pictures without the jacket but then again this is the jacket i'm going to be wearing on that day this thing is heavy it's kind of um leather if i would say like it's really thick and then it has that bandana print i just love the 90s vibe of the jacket and it's really huge like there is no form of coat that can enter in this jacket it had a zipper all around the neck so i can really take the hoodie off and then it will just be a regular jacket as i'm even saying this thing i'm already feeling tired for that shoot but yeah that is what it's going to be for this third look i decided to do a bit of color blocking this is what i came off with I love the fact that it's turtleneck and then I love this cutout here. After shooting, we're going to have like a meal. So I tend to wear this one when we get there. So it's long sleeve and then it's um, also knee length. You could see on the picture, there is also a jacket. So for this particular look, I'm looking at color blocking. Like I was really going to be visual. So give you guys yellow, you know, so many colors. But I said, let's calm down. So I just have this sleeveless gilet. It's long line and then it's really pretty it's got a hood as well it's not detachable but yeah it's lovely lovely burnt orange um gilet and yeah i'm going to wear it with the over the green dress and for the shoes <laughs> i'm finally going to launch these zara shoes we saw in the zara hall yeah purple purple and green really good, good together this is not purple 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 it has one kind of bluish vibe about it but yeah, excuse the fact that i've still left this thing here i just want that feeling of oh i'm tearing out my new shoes today i'm wearing them and then for the handbag i'm really really not sure either i'm going to wear this little pretty um handbag this little pretty little purse i'm actually going for brunch in this look the second option for bags is my dior book tools but the thing is it's a brunch. I don't know. I don't want to carry a big bag, you know, to the restaurant. But then again, I'm thinking of the fact that that bag is going to actually help me carry some things. You know, when you're moving from location to location, I don't want to pack everything inside the box you came in. That bag might really help me. So I'm not really sure. Once I'm putting everything into the box, I will decide what bag I'm going to be wearing. But yeah, for now, it's this one. It's kind of like purple and orange. And then it's PLC. They always like to put their names on all their accessories. Their glasses, handbag, you just PLC in your face so guys that's the third look we have four more looks let's go into the fourth one this is the fourth look you guys i've never got to the umbrella i'm here okay i found you on amazon already but i need to actually place the order so the umbrella comes so as you can see this is a black on black on black look and i'm going to show you the pieces now basically this is everything this is going to be okay so for that brunch we're going to have two outfits <laughs> So I'm going to come in an outfit there, we eat and everything. We're going, I think I'll just wear something else just so that I'll have to like lifestyle kind of looks. This is what you do when you're batch con um, content creating. You have to try and create some things like it's twice or you get, you get what I mean. Anywho, so the dress is this short dress from Zara. Is a, sh would I call it a sheep dress? It's sharp fitted. Sharp. So I got this in the medium and it cost $29.99. As you can see, I'm really, really loving my turtleneck. So this is turtleneck. It's long sleeve again but it is short in the picture i put my knee high chunky boots but i don't know if there'll be space to carry that thing to be and I'm, I'm really not sure what the footwear of this would be if not it's just going to be a pair of black stiletto boots and stuff so with this look as well from the picture i'm sure you saw this this particular gloves i got from zara and i really can't wait to be launching them i really wish this wasn't long sleeve so that you know the sleeves really come but the sleeves of the gloves really come but yeah so it's like full leather and then a bit of um what's this this stretchy ribbed kind of fabric shirt the bottom of the gloves i have this russian hat <laughs> if i'm going to carry a bag it's going to be this one it's my lb bag i'm not sure yet just depends on how the load is looking once i'm packing that is my first look let's go on to the fifth one my fifth look is this one you can see how really casual this look is yes i'm so excited for it because i can't remember last time i actually wore jeans to shoot when i was putting this look together i thought i would put like um leather pants the leather pants i got i don't know i'm not really feeling them so i was just like you know what Steph? it's been a while i actually shot 
an outfit in jeans and i really couldn't wait to do that so yeah let's look at my outfits yeah, this is the pair of jeans it's misguided and then it's ripped and i want to keep everything really simple so um um i have this white tank top is a full normal tank top no drama i just wanted something really white i have this one in off-white but i didn't want off-white i wanted something really fresh you know that white this one freshness that white gives a look so i'm going to get that i just have this one in between is another part of planning your shoes we'll talk about that once i'm done showing you the looks for the jacket we have this so this is a kind of exactly like my red coat from boohoo but this one is from plc i love the richness of this blue like it's, it kind of looks like that those shoes you know the shoes i said they're blue or purple <laughs> can you see they kind of like look very alike so there's a way there'll be more time to create content. I'll probably wear two of them together just because of bulk shooting. Do you get but yeah, this is the jacket. It's a long line one and I intend to wear it with the jeans and then guess what my footwear is going to be. I'm so excited to wear these shoes, guys. I've never really, really shot in comfortable footwear like this, I think. I don't know, I can't remember, but I can really can't wait to wear this. Next is my number six look. That outfit kind of has the vibe of a suit. Actually, the first time I saw that thing online, I thought it was a blazer and pants. When I was on looking at it, well, I said, okay, God, this is actually just normal shirt and trousers. But the thing is, they made the shirt, you know, look like a blazer. So I'm just going to hold the middle. And then I got um, a black top from, anyway, let me just show you the outfit. First, I'm talking too much. Uh, the pair of trousers, they're just very, very flimsy trousers. But I thought they were jacquard when I saw them online before. But even when I realized they were it, I still went ahead and got it because I really love the style i love the fact that trousers are really long and flared at the bottom it has the vibe of a blazer but it's not a blazer and then it just has one hook here i'll try and see if i can wear it without the um inner thing i got to wear this with just for vibes and you know vibes it's always for vibes <laughs> so yeah i now went to tk max to get something in here because i have a lot of um zara crop those things don't really look would i say sexy or sassy or like a bit mature like camis you know how camis look sexy so i went to tk Max to try and find something listy and guess what it was still a zara top but it was very exciting so this is what the top looked like is uh um yeah as i said it's a lacy top it's halter neck then look at the back of this top it just has this single i don't know if you can see like just this single thing here <laughs> yeah this is just what the back is i saw this in a large i wish i saw it in the medium but even the large doesn't look bad that is my sixth look and we've come to the final number seven for number seven i did a bit of wayo <laughs> if i'll call it that so you remember i told you i was going to wear a jacket with the white knits so that jacket actually looks like a dress on its own so just to reduce my load that is my seventh look here comes this jacket again let me show you the back this time around it's just paneled in beige, in two different versions of beige, or rather off-white and beige. Yeah, so love it, love it, love it. I'm going to wear this as a dress, as I've just mentioned. And then we're going to style it with three different boots, more and deep. This is already looking like, I said the seven outfits, but as you can see, this one has now added kind of two other looks to it. Let me show you the boots. The first boot is a boot that actually goes exactly with the jacket. This is a pair of Zara boots I got from TK Maxx. They are pure leather as the tag says. I've actually really rocked this boot. The day I got this boot, I actually lost my bag in Zara. Story for another day. But I think I even mentioned it in one of the vlogs. I just really love how they are beigey and pure leather. So I'll just wear it with that jacket. Um, I think I'll just have my hair just the way it is. There won't be anything on the hair. And then we'll probably just do a reel. Switch boots do you prefer with a jacket or something like that obviously take pictures as well second pair of boots are these <laughs> black ones i'm sure if you follow me on instagram you have seen these boots die like i've rocked these boots year after year and i keep keeping them because they're just simple they are not uncomfortable very comfortable to wear they are from new look and i've had them for four to five years now and you know still working still working i actually have my dolce and gabbana boots too, but those ones are heavy when i'm shooting these boots easy easy you just fold fold everything and put in your box but your down drama even this my chunky boots i wanted to wear with the other outfits is so high like it goes above my knee it's flat to so boss it's heavy do you get so things like that you also think about it when you're planning your looks and can you guess the color of the last pair on the website they actually call this dancer boots <laughs> dancer boots 
<laughs> okay, yeah, you've seen it on the picture already. So, yes, this is what it is. A pair of dance samples. This one will really be fire. It really be fire. So it's like vinyl. I mean, what's this texture called? I don't know. Really shiny patent kind of look. And this one is shiny, shiny, shiny. And it's now ready again. I can't wait to wear this. So help me go, child. Let me know. Sleep on for so the guys. That's about it for the planning. Another tip when you're planning is to make sure you have like cycle shorts and a crop top, something that would go underneath any of your outfit just in case you have to change in somebody that's not that comfortable you're actually already wearing an outfit as your inner wear you guys you're not wearing your bra I don't like all those things where you be showing but mm -mm, wear a proper crop top you could have sleeves it could be sleeveless and then cycle shorts that you know go maybe up to your knee or just before your knee just so that you look a bit decent if you're changing in somewhere that is not the most appropriate place to change though this can help you when you're shooting alone but it's always good to have a companion when you're shooting just having that confidence having that friend who you're rubbing minds with who you're laughing with time will just be going more smoother and when you see the person is even really fast the person i'm shooting with next with this outfit she's so fast shooting so i know when i go there and i'm still doing i'm cold i just see her in like three her number three look already so things like that will just motivate you people who will actually help you you know show you corrections just add some something positive to the you know while the shit is going on not just people that just draining when you're with them but yeah just try and get a proper good companion you guys should also try and time yourselves as you're leaving the house just put in your head okay how many hours do we really want to spend how long like we also we try to book brunch just so that that will guide us you know being really really speedy the first outfit is one that will take the most time so you can give yourself 30 35 to 40 minutes for the first look and the rest of it you should just be going like this like this like this once you find a location remove your outfit change make sure you charge all your batteries take your power bank take your stand so that you can create yourself obviously this is about self-sufficiency you have companion day yes to make things move but and obviously this can also help you you know do some little content here and there your bluetooth remote oh my god that thing works very good with iphone and android so make sure you have that so you know things really move very very smoothly last but not the least go with good energy good vibes i know what saying a companion that you know is going to give you this is going to give you that yourself you should come with joy and happiness and the enthusiasm to actually create content because these things resonate when you're angry and you're shooting when you're editing the picture and you look at the picture remember you actually angry at that time you actually not feel good i hope you enjoyed these tips make sure you've written them down or just put them in your head so you use them the next time you're going to shoot if you never shot before this should motivate you i'll put a link of gadgets you should have for you know outside content creation i'll see you once we finish packing up and then at the shoot location i am ready to start my shoot as i told you i have pictures for everything this outfit i'm wearing now is not it's actually not an outfit i put together but I, i'm wearing it because of comfort this one is like so thick 20 bucks long thing and then those boots i'm just wearing it with my one of my brunch looks but yeah i didn't want to bring it because it was heavy but when i now got my box together pressed everything i just put the sneakers inside and wore this one. we are here on point as planned at 8 15 and guess who my partner is Hello. Hello. So this is Modupe of Mo Craft Creations. Yeah. Follow her on Instagram and YouTube as well. So yeah, we're going to start shooting now. So I'm obviously going to just shoot in this outfit. Though this is not one of the clothes, but we'll quickly do a shoot here. It's indoors, and then we'll now head outside. The weather is chilly. It's chilly, but it's going to get better. I want lashes. Yeah, that's me.
we're done for the day and i didn't want to just end this vlog without closing it properly mo do you want to say bye how was your shoot ah today was very serious yeah, i must yeah, say was really really and then the first location was not gb like liverpool street has sorry about the noise liverpool street bear has security everywhere yeah. Yeah. i think st paul helps us a bit to a very good extent st paul wasn't even but i wish we started from there but i think i actually everything i wanted to shoot so no complaints there so yeah time to go home rest with family thank you guys keep watching bye I love you. When I'm with you, I feel alive. You say you love me, don't you lie?